What's up you awesome people? Thanks for checking out my channel. If you guys are new here, thanks for joining. Uh, this channel is all about my experience living in Japan and working in the circus. So, when you think about the circus, you're probably thinking about the funny clowns or, or the amazing acrobats. But today, I want to introduce you to some of the most beautiful and most skilled performers that are rarely ever even thought about when you think about the circus. So let's go. That's right, the dancers. Now, in almost every circus show, you'll see the dancers, but often their abilities and beauty are overshadowed by the daring and spectacular circus acts. But the dancers play a critical role in the show that is too often overlooked. Now, they are responsible for connecting the acts between with transitions. They also provide an elegant backdrop during some of the solo performances. <laughs> and they also provide energy through the show with their movement. And also, dancers are usually the last performers you'll see on stage before the final curtain. All right, so in this video, I really want to highlight the hard work that these girls put in to fulfill this really important part of the show. All right, hey guys, I'm here with Maria. She is the head choreographer, chore, chore, choreo, choreographer? choreographer, and she's also the head dancer. So let's get into a little bit of background. What is your specialty in dance? Well, since I was five years old, I began doing classic ballet. And when I started working for the TV in Cuba, I had to learn all the Cuban folklore and like some Latin dance, like mambo, salsa, and then I came to All right guys, I'm here with Augustina. She is from Argentina and she's been dancing for a long time, basically her whole life. What is your specialty in dance? Mm. More Latin dance. Latin dance. Latin dance, like uh, salsa, bachata, cha cha cha. All right, guys, I'm here with Olga. Olga is our newest dancer, and she's here from Russia. And what is your style of dance? Uh, dance, dances of the peoples of the world. So it's like, like a world style. Dance. Yes, okay. everything. How did you get into? How did you find this job? It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. I still, I still, yeah, I still didn't recognize how it happened. But I wrote one my friend, one dancer, and actually she knows Indiana before she was dancer here. But we didn't know each other with Indiana, so it's like so a friend of a friend. Yeah, friend of a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so what got you into circus dancing? Yo estaba interesada en trabajar en Japón y tuve la posibilidad eh, de venir al circo a trabajar como bailarina y tomé esa posibilidad para conocer la cultura japonesa. So you were more interested in just working in Japan than sí. actually in the circus. So then how is circus dancing different from the dancing you're familiar with? En el circo no, aquí no se usa mucho el baile latino. Entonces es un poco diferente, es un poco más tranquilo, no es muy energético. Mm. You're a World Cup dancer, right? World Cup mm. Latin salsa dance, mm. bachata. Yeah. So how long did it take you to train to get to that level? I practiced for eight years. Eight years for one competition? No, in the beginning I didn't think in competition. My, my, my focus wasn't in competition. <laughs> no, I understand. Okay. I just I think it's funny. We started out this interview in Spanish, and now it's back to English. Her English has got so good in the like last four years that she's been living here. I went to professional uh, classic ballet school, where, for example, from seven in the morning I had ballet. After I had Spanish. After I had again one more lesson of ballet. After I had history, and it was the whole day from seven to sometimes six the whole day dancing and then I went to another school for being like a higher level where I was eight hours from my house. I, I lived in the school for three years and a half. One of the challenges that I have been working here, we were the first dancers team that the circus had and I made really good friends and then they, they leave. The same happened when I get to know people from the city and sometimes I see them again, sometimes I don't see them ever again. And that's the nature of the circus, right? Yeah. It's you're always moving and so... And it's good because, you know, you get to know really a lot of people. But at the same time, it's heartbreaking because it's really hard. 
your style of dance before compared to the style of dance you do now in circus uh, yeah, is obviously hugely different. It's so little how? bit chigao, yeah, little Chuch. bit, <laughs> <laughs> little means. bit different. Yeah. So, um, in which, in what way is it more challenging? Is it less challenging? Is it harder, easier? Yeah, it's much easier because uh, I'm not dance, for example, here uh, Russian folklore, Russian dance, uh, dance of different country. So you I do like the Russian. <laughs> this actually this uh, trick for men. For ah. girl, yeah, for girls it's a little bit different. Like it's a lot of turns, a lot uh -huh. of like speed. So do you do exercises here, or do you do more dance here in your free time, or how do you stay no, fit? No, I go gym. You know, you you wanna like yourself, and I wanna feel comfortable. All right. Well, thanks, Maria. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, actually now I try to do my tissue. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's great because you wouldn't have found tissue had you not joined the circus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really exciting that you get to learn that and you get to cross train and it builds more exercise yeah. into your day. So that's and like... this a lot of exercise for your body. Yeah, and you put in more hours doing all this stuff. It's going to definitely supplement your ability to dance or to possibly even do that in the future. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Olga. Thank, Thank you, you for very much. spending the time <laughs> with me. So what I understand about Augustine is she's actually going to be finishing the circus pretty soon because she's going to be pursuing the high level of professional dance that she's familiar with. I wish you the best of luck in your future career and Thank you. keep challenging and keep working harder to become the best at, you, at what you can do. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> This is going to be you. goodbye for her. It's one of my good friends for the last three years. And <laughs> it's going to be sad because in circus, you know, when people leave, you never say goodbye. You just say, see you down the road. But it's difficult because, you know, it's best for everybody to be happy and, and pursue the things they want in life, you know, not to be stuck where they're not happy or they're not challenged. And, you know, so I wish the best of luck for Augustina and... Gambate! Thank you! <laughs> All right, so as you can see, all these girls have extensive backgrounds of high-level skill, and they deserve the attention and respect of their abilities. So next time you go see a circus show, I'm sure you will recognize these beautiful ladies, and you'll see that they put just as much effort in as the performers. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Guys, also, beside the subscribe button, there's a bell. I want you guys to kick that bell. Ah, so you'll be the first one to know when the next video comes out. Also, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and share. 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 Okay. Share. share. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys, again for watching. Make sure you go have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>